What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate, and today I'm gonna show you how to get plugins inside of After Effects. Now, this has been one of the most requested tutorials I've done, and that's probably because you guys probably saw this one in which I referenced the plugin Paint and Stick. I know I've been there, and it can be pretty daunting getting into After Effects, so I'm gonna go through this step by step and show you how easy this is. In fact, it's gonna be so easy, I'm doing it with one arm behind my back. All right, let's go. All right, so first thing that I'm gonna do is show you that this After Effects is brand new installed. I actually just installed it on this laptop because the desktop over there has a bunch of plugins installed already. And I wanna show you guys what this looks like right when you get it from Adobe Creative Cloud. So, all right, let's move around in here. I'm gonna turn on my screen recording so I can pop it up later. All right, bam. And let's see. Okay, so there's a lot of different places where you can get plugins from, but my favorite place to go to is called aescripts.com, and they have a bunch of plugins on there, and I probably have referenced them a few times, haven't I? AE scripts and AE plugins, not sure which. Nah, just once. Okay, so let's see. Dang, all right, before I get too distracted and all these cool plugins, let me go ahead and click on Paint and Sick, which happens to be right here at the top, but I'll also include a link in the description, so make sure you check that out. And on your way down there, go ahead and subscribe or like the video if you haven't already. All right, and let's see. Where the f is the download button? Okay, so here you can see it's $0, and that's because we're gonna try it out and bam, we get uh, a window that pops up and shows us that we can download Paint and Stick. I'm gonna go ahead and make this inside of the same folder that the screen recording is right now. All right, and once that downloads, you're gonna see it says .zip, and what that means is that it's a compressed file that has probably multiple files in it, but in order to make the download easy, it's all packaged into one. So we're gonna have to extract this first. Luckily, Windows does this built-in already if you're using Windows 10 and up. If not, you're gonna have to download a program called WinZip to extract it. All right, so now we have Paint and Stick. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the file. And you can see that there's this folder here in which we have two more folders, installers, starter brushes, and then two more files. The README is gonna tell us a little bit more about what we're looking at. So I'm gonna open this up with Google Chrome. And bam. So this README is gonna show us how to install it, but this looks pretty boring. So instead, I'm gonna show you how to install it right here in this video. And in order to do that, we're gonna click on the folder that says installers. This is a Windows that I'm working on, so I'm gonna click Windows, and then go into Paint and Stick Installer. And let's see, is it popping up? Bam, just like that, we get all the plugins. Oh wait, <laughs> so we can click next, I agree. And then we're using After Effects CC 2019, so we're gonna use uh, that one that pops up. If you have multiple After Effects installed on your computer, it's gonna show up with multiple versions. And click install, and just like that, it should be working. But in case it's not, I'm gonna go back into After Effects and double check. Uh, make a new composition. All right, so we're gonna make a new solid and try to apply paint and stick onto this. And what do you know, it does not show up. Now, for those of you who are savvy out there and know how to install plugins already, you're gonna notice that I actually had After Effects open when I installed it. And this means that I'm gonna to have to close it out first and then reopen it in order to get Paint Stick to show up. So let's try that again. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello? Yeah, it's, it's one of the most cliche fixes. Just turn it off and turn it back on. Hello, IT. <laughs> Something's wrong with my computer. 
Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, no, no. Oh dear, thanks. But surprisingly, that tends to fix a lot of problems. So let's see if that fixes this one that we're dealing with right now. All right, I didn't save my project, so let's go ahead and make a new project, a new composition. Doesn't matter what it is right now because we're just testing out this plugin. And a new solid of which I'm going to apply paint and stick. And if I go into effects, damn, I do not see it at all. Let's see, where is paint and stick? Oh, shoot, all the way there at the bottom, A stick, A plugin, paint and stick. Kind of a hard thing to find there, but looks like it's working and if i go ahead and click it says choose a folder and this is because paint and stick puts all the drawings into a separate folder and that's actually kind of a neat feature so let's go ahead and make a folder and it doesn't matter where it is right now so i'm just going to make this on my desktop but ideally you're going to want to make this on a uh, place where you have your project files working with so this is going to be tutorial brushes and look at that. It looks like the plugin's working. Onion skin on. And let's, okay, I don't see it. It's kind of glitching a little bit slow, probably because I have the screen recording running on this uh, laptop and it's not the, oh, no, it looks, it looks like it's still working. Okay, cool. And just like that, that's how we install Paint and Stick. Okay, so I was editing this video and about to upload it when I got the notification that we hit our 1,000 subscriber. So me and Chris have always been saying how once we hit 1,000 subs, we wanna do some sort of giveaway for you guys. I have no idea what it's gonna be, but we wanna make sure it's something really special. So we're gonna put a little bit more time into it. Make sure you check back next week for more details about that. And yeah, thanks again for watching. That's it for the video, peace. <laughs>